These are soybeans. And see how they're planted in rows? And this is one that came up today. The soybean seeds that John Boyd Jr. planted about a week ago have just sprouted. It should have been a moment of celebration, but tariffs make him worried. When President Trump announced it, the tariffs, uh, the price of soybeans plummeted, and we really didn't have a, a market. The, the tariffs have been devastating for me. Soybean farmers in the U.S. are frustrated that trade with China has been severely disrupted. I'm here at Baskerville, Southern Virginia, where most of the soybeans produced here are exported to China. But with the new round of tariffs and the trade dispute still unresolved, farmers are losing their patience. We don't have time. Our time is right now. We have a window of opportunity. And quite frankly, if my crop isn't planted one month from right now, from today, then it's, it's, it's all over for me. And not just for me, for other American farmers. Boyd owns more than 700 acres of tillable land, and he had planned to grow mostly soybeans. However, the prices of soybeans have sharply dropped since Washington's trade frictions with Beijing started more than a year ago. And earlier this week, the prices hit a 10-year low. My loss is a 50% reduction of income. 50%. 50, 5 zero. So half of uh, my income uh, for that one commodity, soybeans, uh, are gone. And I don't see the market picking up uh, anytime soon, which, is, which, which, which has been hurtful. A fourth-generation farmer, Boyd Toshinhua, that this year's rollout is very slow and he has no cash to carry his business forward. The gloomy market outlook even makes it difficult for him to get his farm operating loans approved. It all stems from a snowball effect from the president imposing tariffs, which I think was a poor decision uh, and how it affected America's farmers. You don't think tariffs are the right approach to address issues? I do not think it's the right approach. The U.S. government previously offered $12 billion to bail out farmers caught in the middle of the trade tensions and has recently proposed 15 billion more. No, I don't want the aid. I want a fair price for my crop. Uh, I would much rather be able to uh, just get a fair price for my commodity at the grain elevator. For Boyd, a trade war is the last thing he and his fellow farmers want. So all of my soybeans were going to China. Are you still optimistic? Uh, well, I was until this week, and, and I think uh, the president's uh, decision this week hurt the progress that we were making. Now, that's my personal opinion. In some parts of the United States, soybeans could be planted as late as June, which leaves farmers just a few more weeks to make their decision. As the final planting day draws closer, Soybean growers here told me that it's urgent for Washington to change its trade approach. They are holding out hope sales to China would be back to normal.